What's up, guys? It's the Kaiju Conservative, and things are not looking good for the NFL, ladies and gentlemen. We've got the ratings from yesterday's uh, protest neilathon in, and uh, it's it's painting a pretty horrible picture for the NFL right now. Ratings are down eight percent from last week. Uh, they were already down double points, double digits from where they were last year. But it's it's very clear that uh, the protests from yesterday uh, really hurt the NFL in a big way. I mean, this is eight percent is is a pretty big drop, uh, especially when you're already down from where you were at this point last year. You can't really afford to go too much lower without feeling the pinch financially. Now, if I'm an NFL official, if I'm an NFL owner, if I'm an advertiser or a merchandiser, I'm going to start looking at these numbers and and thinking, you know, my God, this is this is not a good place to be. Uh, if I'm an advertiser or if I'm a merchandiser, I might be thinking about uh, jumping ship or maybe at the very least putting pressure on the owners and uh, the NFL itself to, to rein in their, uh, their players and assert some level of uh, consistency because that's what it boils down to. That's what this whole thing uh, is about. It's a, it, it's, not only is it about disrespecting the flag, disrespecting the national anthem, and disrespecting the men and women that fought and died for this country, but it's it's the sheer hypocrisy of the of the of the left, like I talked about yesterday. And people are starting to see that. They're starting to see that uh, the NFL is an organization that will not allow players to honor September 11th. Uh, by wearing shoes or socks that commemorate that. They won't allow players to honor police officers. Uh, They won't allow them any form of expression except when it comes to spitting on the American flag, figuratively spitting on the American flag for uh, you libtards out there that might be listening. So where does the NFL go from here? How does it stop this? Well, let's 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 back up a second. Let's back up a, a second and 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 take a look at this. So, when is this going to start causing a serious problem for the NFL? I mean, you can argue that right now it's causing a big problem uh, for the NFL, but they seem to be willing to they seem to be willing to take the temporary hit in order to make a political statement. So, when does that stop being true? Um, for the NFL as an organization, I don't think that will stop being true. I, I think the NFL and the players, especially, um, they are looking at all of these celebrities that are tweeting their support. Uh, they're looking at the media coverage, the positive media coverage, um, the media members that are tweeting out their support as well. And, and the activists that are, are urging them on and they think that they, are in the right. They think that most of the country agrees with them. They think that most of their fans agree with them when nothing could be further from the truth. Uh, Most football fans, I will guarantee you, don't watch football for politics. They watch football for football. They want to see players play a fucking game. And which is understandable. That's what they're paying for. If you go to, if you go to, if you pay money for a, for a ticket for an NFL game, you know, sometimes hundreds of dollars in some cases, you don't want a political statement. You want an actual football game. You want the players to do their damn jobs. If you've got an NFL package on DirecTV or some other network, you know, something that you're paying money for, you are expecting that you will see football. You're not expecting to see politics. That's not what you're paying for. I would wager maybe 10% of NFL fans, maybe 10% of football fans look at these protests and, and think, yeah, no, this is great. This is fucking awesome. Go ahead and take that knee. Yeah. Fuck the country. Fuck America. You know, this is a racist country anyway. I would say that's maybe 10% of football player, of football fans. Maybe. Most of most football fans are either offended or they just don't care. I would say 
I would say it's probably an even split. I would say probably 50% are offended and 50% just don't care. Uh, it might, it actually is probably greater than 50% that are offended given the huge drop in ratings that the NFL experienced. So when does all this start being a problem? I think if it starts going on more than a week, maybe two, we're going to start seeing not the NFL officials, but I think we're going to start seeing owners start to panic. Uh, I think we're going to see owners and to a lesser extent some coaches uh, talking more about enforcing some kind of decorum and actually enforcing the NFL's rules. Um, I think we're going to start seeing a lot of pressure on the NFL after a week or two uh, to to start fining people um, at, at the very least. Will a fine work? You know, if a, if a player gets a $5,000 fine for kneeling, is that going to be enough to placate the fans? I really don't think it will because most, you know, NFL fans, football fans in general, they're, they're smart people, despite what the left would have you believe. Football fans are pretty smart people. They know that these players get paid at the very least, you know, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars for a, for a season. You know, you've got a lot of players being paid six, seven figures for, for playing a game, they know that a $5,000 fine is not going to cut it. Uh, you're going to, you're going to see some wrist slaps starting in the next couple of weeks, I think. And the NFL is going to hope that that's going to placate its fans. Of course, they're going to be completely wrong. That's not going to placate the fans at all. They know it's going to be a wrist slap. So you're going to have to see the NFL really start cracking down on this problem. You're going to have to see massive fines. I'm talking tens of thousands of dollars per player. Um, you're going to have to see them start fining teams that stay in the locker rooms. Uh, you're going to, you're teams like the Steelers that, that's, that stay out in the locker rooms. You're going to have to see, you're going to see the NFL, um, having to start fining those teams. Uh, and it's not going to be a small fine either. It's going to have to be six, seven figures uh, at least. Um, I think you're also going to have to see the NFL start suspending players too. You know, you're going to have to start seeing players get suspended for two, three, maybe even more games uh, over this before you see the fans start being placated. Uh, I think... Ultimately, a lot of the pressure is going to come from outside the NFL, and it's going to come in the form of money. Money talks, and money talks louder than politics. The second that this starts, that these protests, that this whole take a knee bullshit starts hurting the bottom line of the owners, the advertisers, and the merchandisers, that's when you're going to see a lot of pressure being brought to bear on the NFL. And ultimately, I think they are going to cave to that pressure. They're going to have to cave to that, pl to that pressure. Otherwise, they risk, they risk completely destroying their own organization. They, they, will, cease to, they will cease to exist uh, at that point, or at least they'll cease to be as big as they were before. And you'll see other sports gaining prominence. Um, NASCAR more than likely uh, will be a big one because NASCAR announced that they're not going to tolerate that sort of shit. Uh, the, multiple NASCAR owners announced yesterday that anybody who who takes a knee during the national anthem will be fired, which which is the right thing to do. I think you know the left whines and moans and bitches about free speech, saying, "Oh, these players have a right to free speech." That's only as much as their employer allows. When they're on the field, they're playing a game, they're representing their organization. If their organization is going to allow them to do that sort of thing, fine, great, good. The people in the free market, they have the opportunity to go elsewhere for what they're, what they're looking for. They have the opportunity not to patronize that team anymore. If the team doesn't allow that sort of expression, then by all means, get <laughs> Get their asses out of there. Fire that player. Uh, fire the sons of bitches, like Donald Trump said. So, ultimately, the pressure is going to come from outside the organization. It's going to come in the form of the advertisers and the, the merchandisers. To a lesser extent, the owners. I think the owners are going to be, be slower to wake up to this than, than the advertisers and the merchandisers. Um, 
but by and large, they are going to come around, and and the only that's the only thing that's going to be able to save the NFL from itself is is money. That's what it boils down to. When does that happen? I don't know. <laughs> that's a that's a very good question. Like I said before, the NFL thinks they are with they are in the right. They think the country agrees with them, uh, and they need to be disabused of that notion harshly and in order to uh to come about and the people are already starting to do that by not not watching um but i think it needs to continue you know this this nfl boycott started uh started last year uh when when colin kaepernick started his protest but it needs to continue don't don't buy. I, I've I've heard people on on Twitter talking about you know buying tickets to games and they're walking out of the stadium. Don't do that. That's that's fucking stupid. That's that's dumb. They've already got your money at that point. What what good is walking out of the stadium going to do? No, just, just don't buy the ticket. Don't watch football. Uh, if if you know don't go to don't go to places that are are playing football games you know don't go to don't go to a bar if it's playing if it's playing a game from a team that's that's supporting these protests you know just stay home watch something else put on a movie you know read a book listen to me on the internet <laughs> preferably preferably that last one but do do anything but buy nfl merchandise do anything but buy the tickets don't buy the merchandise to burn it don't buy an nfl ticket just to walk out of the stadium you're still giving them money that's not going to accomplish what you want the only thing that's going to talk that that's going to prevent the nfl from committing suicide which is what they're doing is money and the lack of it. And until the money dries up and until that becomes a problem, they are not going to listen. They are going to keep doing these protests. They're going to keep encouraging it. And it's it's going to end very badly for them. Hey guys, thank you so much for listening to me. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. If you're on YouTube, hit that notifications button so that way you know whenever I upload a video. And I will see you all next time.